my friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and I'm here today with a mind, body, spirit reading for Pisces for October 2022. Today I'm going to be using the Halloween Tarot created by Kipling West, and the artwork is by Karen Lee. It's published by U.S. Game Systems. And um, I want to tell you that this is a general reading, so everything I say may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to check out your, if, if Pisces is your sun sign, be sure to check out the readings for your rising sign and your moon sign as well, as uh, both of those signs have a lot to do with who you are and with what's going on in your life, and they should have some interesting and important information for you as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, Spirit, what is going to be on Pisces' mind most of all, in October, what is going to be at the forefront of Pisces' mind in October? What are they going to be thinking? Oh, my. Thinking about. We're taking that one because it's upright. What are they going to be thinking about in October? What is Pisces going to be thinking about in October? Okay, we can't take all of those because those are all... Too many, but that one popped out first and most excitedly, so we'll take that one. All right, thank you, Spirit. What is going to be going on with Pisces physically in October? What is going to be going on with Pisces physically in October? All right, I'm feeling these. Okay, there's that. Two of Ghosts. Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. Wow. Okay. All right. This is shaping up. And what is going to be going on with Pisces spiritually in October? Hmm. All right. What, one more. What is going to be going on with Pisces spiritually Sorry about the shake. I need a new boom uh, on, in October. All right, so. And the the card at the bottom of your deck is the Ten of Amps reversed. And we will talk about that at the end. All righty. So let's take a look. So um, of your whole reading, we have one, two, three major arcana cards. It looks like um, physically there's going to be a lot going on with you uh, and even mentally. Uh, major Arcana cards are cards that have big meaning for your life. Um, they're all about the big lessons you're here to learn, um, big transformations, and just things that are really going to affect your life a lot. So it looks like October is going to be a big month for you. So <clears throat> on your mind is, uh, well, the lover's card. So this is a Major Arcana card. And uh, for different people, this is going to mean different things. So for some of you, um, a love relationship is going to be on your mind, all right? Um, and this is going to be at the forefront, forefront of your thoughts is going to be this love relationship. It could be a family relationship. It could be a friendship. Okay, but that is going to be, but mo more likely it, it will be a romantic relationship. Okay, that is for some people. And then for other people, it's going to be about a big, big choice that you have to make. You're going to have to choose between two things, and it's going to be a, a very um, life-changing choice and a very important choice, and this is going to be on your mind. The second thing that's going to be on your mind is having fun and celebrating. You might have a lot of... Um, Halloween parties to go to. You might be um, planning a party. You might be celebrating with friends, just going out and doing a lot of fun things. And um, this is really important to you in October. You're going to be thinking about it a lot, and it's going to be on your mind. You may also be celebrating with this person, whoever this is. You may go out, be, out, be having fun with that person and going out and celebrating. Now, um, physically, you have two major arcana cards and and the Two of Cups. All right. The Two of Cups, first of all, is a card about partnership. Again, for some of you, this will be romantic partnership. For some of you, this will be a business partnership. And for some of you, um, 
it can be a friendship. So uh, this is going to be a physical partnership. Now, <laughs> I don't mean that you're going to be involved physically with all these people. I mean, this is going to be an actual person. So um, you're going to either be focusing on a friendship, a business partnership, or a romantic partnership in uh, October. Now, uh, what Spirit wants you to keep in mind is that um, things may have been looking a little bit grim lately. They're going to be looking up. The Wheel of Fortune wants you to keep in mind that life is cyclical. Okay, we'll go through some really great times and then you enjoy them while they last because pretty soon, you know, some not so great things are going to happen. You may have to deal with some things you don't like. And then again, things are going to get great. So just be aware uh, of the cyclical things in life and the way it goes. Sometimes things are good. Sometimes things are bad. So um, wherever you are now, if things are not going well, be of good cheer because they're going to get better. If things are going super well, enjoy it now. It may not always be like this. All right. And the second um, thing, even though you've got a lot of partying on your mind, a lot of celebrating on your mind, uh, the hermit is reminding you to take time for yourself, to take time to access your inner wisdom, to just be alone sometimes to think. You also need, even though social time is super important, it's also important and it's especially important to you in October for your well-being, for your physical well-being, to take time alone and to relax and to go inside and access your inner wisdom. All right, just sometimes you just take some time alone to think. That is super good for you. Of course, it's not good to spend all your time alone. And obviously, that's not going to be happening. That's not going to be happening. But do take some time alone just to think and to um, contemplate what's going on in your life, um, what you need to think about, what you need to work on, all of these things. It's all about accessing your inner wisdom. And that is going to be important to you in October. So don't forget to do this between having fun and partying. All right. So spiritually, um, we've got the Two of Wands. Um, the Two of Wands is all about um, thinking about the future, looking at what you have to work with, what resources you have. So spiritually, may, you may be um, looking at um, moving forward in your spiritual path. You might be thinking about what's ahead and um, what you need to consider uh, going forward. And the Knight of Wands is all about... Um, moving forward in your spiritual quest, in your spiritual journey. But the fact that it is um, reversed may mean that spiritually you may feel a little bit delayed in October. You may not be making the spiritual progress maybe in your um, spiritual activities the way you want to. Um, your meditation may not be um, progressing the way you want it to. But um, this is a temporary slow down. This is a temporary setback. You'll be back on your goals moving forward before you know it, your spiritual goals. And at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Imps, the Ten of Wands. And this is telling you that um, you, may be have carrying, you may be carrying a burden of some sort lately. And ten is a, is a number of completion. Um, that means you're almost done with whatever this big project or big um, thing that you're dealing with is this burden that you've been carrying. It's almost over. Um, the end may be delayed just a little bit because this is reversed, but the it is coming. It will be there soon. You will be done with whatever this is that's been on your mind and weighing on you. It's going to be um, coming to an end soon, to coming to a completion. All right. That is your reading Pisces for October 2022. If you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. It's free. If you hit the notification bell, you will be notified whenever new videos are uh, available to be uh, viewed. And um, I thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope your October is absolutely fantastic. See you soon. Bye-bye.